Hey guys, it's Brody Wack. Welcome to A Chat With Zach, where I tell you guys a real life story or just bring you guys a real life topic to talk about. And I want you guys to think of that one kid in school, that one kid that just, you just really, really want to take a steamroller to and just kind of like bump into him, not really like run him over, but just like you're at a construction site and you just, you're having a long day at work. You just want to finish what you're doing. You want to go home, want to play some Call of Duty. Just just do whatever you want to do with your life, right? But of course you got to get this one job done. And this kid, this kid that you're thinking of is in your way and just will not move for the life of him. Well, you really want to get this job done. So you just kind of like do your job over him. <laughs> You gotta do your job over him and he's just there. He just got it right there. Think of that kid and this is what this kid is like to me. Now, I don't know where this kid is now. This happened, I think, about nine, ten years ago. This happened a long, long time ago and just this kid really just left a big mark in my brain of how annoying and how stupid he was. You ever, okay, so you know that meme of that kid that just like says he gets hit in dodgeball but he doesn't go out? He's that kid. I'll put that meme on the screen he is exactly like that kid and he looks like that guy like I don't know what his name is but it's like Mr. Bean he looks exactly like that bro like now that I think of it he looks exactly like that and he's so annoying so dumb he's just that kid oh my god bro well the thing that really pissed little bro you whack off from this kid happened I think about nine ten ma heck maybe even 12 years ago I was at this little like daycare thing it's not like a daycare day care they like have games you can play games they play dodgeball have tons of events going on but you go there during the day and then you go home because it's just it's just what you do well I was doing that and I had tons of friends in like this little daycare thing and one of these kids was not my friend but everybody just kind of did not like he's one of those kids that everyone just kind of picked on but he didn't know that he was getting picked on and I kind of feel bad because like he like it's not like anyone really liked him but it's for good reasons like there's two things about this kid one thing is is that he was just so annoying, so loud. And I know I'm a loud commentator, I know that, but he was just annoyingly unnecessary loud. Like if you talk to me in real life, if you ever somehow find me, you'll see that I talk normally. I don't talk my commentator very like, hey guys, what's up? Back with another Black Ops. No, I don't talk like that in real life, okay? But this kid just like, he he talks like, hey guys, how's it going? How? Like He talked literally like that. I don't know how else to describe it. I'm sorry if this is annoying to you, but people didn't like the way that Ben talked. And that's his name, Ben. I don't know if any of you guys are, are, are named Ben, but I just think that's a cool name. But for this kid, it was just like the most annoying name ever. I don't know why. I don't know how you can get annoyed by a name, but I was annoyed by this kid and his freaking name. The second thing that really pissed people off about this kid is that he smelled like booty every day and I know we're little kids I know we don't really know about deodorants and all that kind of stuff but bruh take a shower like I don't I legit I don't know if he took a shower I don't know if he used shampoo and like condition I don't know if he used any of that but he legit smelled like booty I'm not kidding I'm not trying to sound funny he legit did you guys know those kids that legit smell like complete dog doo-doo he legit smelled like that I cannot say legit any more times but he he just smelled so bad bruh other than the fact that he smelled like complete dog doo he had an annoying voice and just an annoying name and just had a face that he just wanted to like fade on sight like rice gum with food YouTube, he just does the most annoying things during games. And I remember this one thing in particular, this one time we were playing dodgeball. It was like a 12 on 12 man versus dodgeball thingy. I don't know what, but we were playing dodgeball. And if you guys don't know a thing about me, I love to be competitive. I like to win. The thing about this game of dodgeball is that if you get hit in the face, then you stay in. No headshots were allowed because we have to be safe and whatnot. Uh, but if you get hit, you're out. You guys know the rules of dodgeball well. Little old Ben doesn't like to play by the rules, not at all. Ben likes to be that annoying kid and likes to lie whenever he gets hit by a dodgeball. And I remember this one time, I was like pretty close to him. He had like three balls. He wasn't throwing them, but I threw it and I got him in the leg and he was, and I was like, hey dude, you're out. Isn't the nicest way possible? And I was like, no, I'm not out. <laughs> like he legit sounded like that. I'm, I'm still in, I'm still in. And then he continued to play. Nobody saw this. No one was like calling him out. So I was like, Dude, you're out, like, come on. And he's like, <laughs> I'm still in. And I'm just like, 
Okay, fine. You know, I'm gonna give this guy a second time. So a ball came my way and he was right there. He didn't have any balls in his like peripherals. He didn't have anything. So I legit started to wind up in my arm like Randy Johnson. I threw the ball straight at his stomach and it bounced off him. It was clear that he was out, but he wasn't getting out. He stayed in. He was still playing. And I was just like, bruh, I clearly got you. It made a loud noise. And you, you're freaking out. And Ben over here is like, I'm still in. I'm, st I'm still in. And just like, okay, fine, whatever. I'll get you the third time. But that third time never came up. The game ended, and I was pissed off, bro. I was just, I hated Ben from that point on. And I will never, ever like another kid named Ben because of that guy. I'm just kidding. I'll probably like him. I just, I just didn't like that. I don't like liars, especially when it comes to dodgeball. So, Ben. You know, you, you've done a lot of you done a lot of things that really pissed me off, and a lot of other people. You know, nobody really liked you in that daycare. I'm just letting you know, all right? I don't know where you at in life right now, but if I ever see you, you were out in dodgeball. You were out. <laughs>